Live from KSAT 12, the news at noon starts right Leadership now. Leadership screams, support the team, you're a Republican, we're our leadership, sit down, shut up, just support the team, and damn it, if that's the price, I ain't gonna do it, I'm gonna honor the commitments I made to the voters instead. Fireworks in Cleveland after Ted Cruz refused to endorse Donald Trump last night at the Republican National Convention. And as you just got a taste of, he has some choice words to say about the presidential nominee. And here in San Antonio, it's Tim Duncan Day. He had an incredible 19-year career with our San Antonio Spurs. And now the city is paying tribute to number 21. But first, late breaking news on San Antonio's far northwest side, where San Antonio police say an elderly man has shot and killed a would-be burglar. It happened just a short while ago in the 9700 block of Autumn Dew, which is off Braun Road inside Loop 1604. That's where we find KSET 12's Stephanie Cerna. She joins us live. Stephanie. Well, police tell us they still have this entire street blocked off as they continue to try and find out if any other homeowners were threatened by this burglary suspect this morning. Now, this all happened around 930 this morning on Autumn Dew. Police say a man in his early to mid 40s was attempting to break in a home there. The homeowner, who is in his late 70s and his wife, were inside the house at the time and heard the commotion. They tried to warn the burglary suspect to leave, but when he broke the front door handle, the homeowner fired a shot through the door hitting the suspect in the chest and killing him. Our understanding that he was trying to uh, trying to maybe lift the windows, uh, trying to open the door, banging on the windows. Uh, there's our understanding that he may have had an umbrella in his possession and was trying to break the windows. So he was really trying to make a, a strong effort to get into this house, uh, allegedly according to uh, our homeowners. Uh, and then they felt the need that to uh, defend themselves and their property and for their safety. And right now we're told that the homeowner will not face any charges. We are live on the city's far northwest side. Stephanie Serna, KSET 12 News. Thank you, Stephanie. More light breaking news. San Antonio police have arrested three HEB warehouse employees accused of stealing more than $190,000 of produce. KSET 12's Pilar Arias joins us live on the northeast side warehouse with more on that story. Yeah, good afternoon. SAPD says they were contacted several weeks ago by HEB corporate security. We saw two of the three men's faces about an hour ago, but we haven't learned their identities because they haven't been magistrated. The third suspect was already at the magistrate's office at the time. We're told they were stealing pallets of produce at a time for more than a year and loaded them into trailers. Investigators believe the suspects were reselling the produce at much lower prices. SAPD Sergeant Val Garcia said the HEB employees were taken into custody here at the warehouse this morning and are still being questioned. Several of the employees were drivers, receivers, and actually personnel who loaded the inventory onto trucks. Sergeant Garcia didn't know how long the men have worked here. We're working on getting more answers for you and we'll keep you posted throughout the day. Now, we are told since they were working collectively, they will be facing organized crime charges. We're putting live on the northeast side, Pilar Arias, KSAT 12 News. To politics, Senator Ted Cruz under fire today from members of the Texas delegation at the Republican National Convention. Comes after Cruz's controversial primetime speech last night. Today, he told party members why he chose not to endorse Donald Trump. KSAT 12 digital reporter Ryan Lloyd is in Cleveland with the latest from this morning's heated meeting. The Texas delegation had some strong words and questions for Ted Cruz. Why not back the party nominee? Do you realize that you can unite this party like no other man in this party, even more than our candidate, by using just a few words and we need to do it now. We yeah. cannot do it in November. That's one man who held the sentiment like many others here at the Texas delegation breakfast. It was a packed house as the delegates and media came to hear if the senator had an explanation for why he didn't endorse Trump. For one, he said it became personal when Trump attacked his wife and father during the campaign. And he stands by his speech where he championed freedom and the right to vote conscience over the party's candidate. Let me tell you the politically easy option is to stand up and pledge your allegiance to whoever the party nominee might be, no matter what. If you're an elected official, that's the right political outcome. And I'm going to tell you something, sir. I'm not going to lie to you. Whether you want me to or not, I'm not going to lie to you. And what I said last night is what I believe. 
Crew said it would have been easier to run away from this morning's meeting with the delegation, which was already scheduled before he spoke at the convention last night. Many wondering today if he cemented his position as a true conservative or if he made a career ending decision by choosing not to endorse Trump. In Cleveland, Ryan Lloyd, KSAT 12 News. Ryan and of course Steve Spreacher will be covering the RNC all day in Cleveland. Look for their stories on our website, KSAT.com, and in our later newscasts. New at noon, a northeast side barber shop has a big mess to clean up after a car slammed into a business this morning. It happened around 6 o'clock at the Walsham Barber Shop in the 5500 block of Walsham. The car jumped the curb in the parking spot out front, crashed right into the front of the shop. The entire front window and door were smashed in and a wall inside was damaged. The owner of the business told us a firefighter woke him up to tell him what happened. I had a heart attack in 95. And it felt like that. When I, first, I thought it was a joke. I hung up on the guy. So then I, I called the number back, and he said he said he was a fireman. He gave me the address and everything. He said, you better get down here. He said the driver who caused the damage works next door. The wall is shared with a Mexican restaurant, and the big hole is affecting them as well. Although the restaurant is open, the barber shop is not. The owner says it will probably stay that way for at least a few days until he can make repairs. Crime Stoppers offering up to $5,000 in reward money to anyone who could help them, help them rather catch a suspected getaway driver involved in a shooting. Police say the man in these pictures was driving the car that drove away from a gas station in the 600 block of West South Cross back on June 9th after a man was shot in the hip. This video from the scene, a shooting happened at 315 in the morning. The man told police three people pulled up a car and tried to rob him. Then someone inside opened fire. They said they talk out off in this four door silver sedan with a missing left front hubcap. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 224 stop. Well, after 19 years and five NBA championships, San Antonio is celebrating Spurs history. It's Tim Duncan Day as proclaimed by Mayor Ivy Taylor, honoring the power forward's retirement from the San Antonio Spurs. It's a team he spent his entire NBA career with, and after almost two decades, Tim has left us with a whole lot of great memories. KSET 12's Josh Skernick spent the morning speaking with fans who want to say thank you. The fire destroys a house near downtown, but thankfully, no one was living there. Here, uh, we actually, we'll have your lottery numbers coming up a little bit later on. I'll announce here they are, but uh, that's coming up. You're watching the news at noon. At Miracle Bomb. San Antonio arson investigators are trying to figure out what started a two alarm fire in an empty house north of downtown. It started just before two this morning in the 400 block of Lewis Street, which is across the street from San Antonio College. At one point, more than two dozen fire units were working to contain the flames. At least two of them remained there for hours just to make sure that the fire didn't flare up again. A neighbor says no one lived there for a long time. The house was destroyed. Two women were arrested after a crash in New Braunfels. Police believe both had been drinking. 30-year-old Deanne Harmon is charged with DWI. And 51-year-old Leanna Gardner charged with public intoxication. Police say both are from Burleson. They say Harmon and Gardner were in the same car when it struck a pole and caught fire on East Common Street in New Braunfels. Bystanders pulled them both out. Both women were taken to a hospital. Then they were booked into the Comal County Jail later. Southwest Airlines says it has fixed a computer glitch that has been causing problems at airports across the country since yesterday. The glitch caused a major outage and forced Southwest to cancel or delay hundreds of flights. Now they're having to play catch up today to get back on track. Well, taking a live look outside through City Camp, San Antonio International Airport flights are looking pretty good over here. A couple of delays, a few cancellations, but it is a good idea to check ahead if you are flying southwest, even though they have fixed that computer glitch. Let's check in now with Mike. Lots of sunshine out there. What about the chance of rain today? Nope. We don't even have any clouds out there. You know, the past couple of days, we've had a few clouds uh, popping up already, and we've had some of those showers down there along the coast. There's nothing showing up on radar right now, not even along the coast. There'll be one or two of them well, well off to the east, but uh, it's just going to be scorching hot and dry for the next couple of days. The aquifer dropped down another half a foot in the past 24 hours, so basically three feet above the average, and the allergens mold is on the low side. We started off this morning, it's about normal, 77. We're going to make it up to 90 nine later on today almost five degrees above normal within range of that record and it's going to be getting up there triple digit range over the weekend when's the next chance of rain not too far down the road details coming up you're watching the news at noon stick around
problem. We heard it was coming. A new at noon, San Antonio is getting a new area code for phone numbers. Say hello to 726. It joins 210 as a second area code for our city. The North American Numbering Plan Administrator announced the number assignment today. Now, it includes almost all of Bear County, a small portion of Atascosa, Camal, and Guadalupe, Medina, and Wilson counties as well. Now, if you already have 210, you will be able to keep it. The remaining available numbers with 210 area code are scheduled to run out by early 2018. The new area code is for new phone numbers. Activation of the new 726 area code will start in October of 2017. <laughs> When visiting the majestic Niagara Falls, you really can't find a bad seat to take in the breathtaking view, but one company is making even better with a bird's eye view of the falls. Look at this. That would be cool. You can see it from a brand new zip line. I don't know. I think it looks scary as I'll get out. A series of four zip lines can take thrill seekers on a 2200 foot ride, 200 feet above the Niagara Falls. Your top speed, 40 miles an hour. Now that is breathtaking. That's cool. Oh, scary. Hey, what's your favorite junk food? It'll take forever for Mike to list his, but it is time to indulge because today is National Junk Food Day. Now, we're not suggesting you go all out, but a milkshake and a burger sound pretty darn good right now. Mike, top junk food on your list? I know it was Pop-Tarts, well, but, but you cut way back. Is a burger considered junk food? Um, Probably I mean, not. For some not of us, I mean, no. That's called breakfast, lunch, or dinner. No, but I mean, it's. I thought junk food was just eating like a bag of potato chips. Chips, and cookies, and cookies, candy. And stuff like French that fries you're... would be my favorite. So, But I mean, that's a side dish. <laughs> <laughs> that is um, one of the food groups. I think Maybe. lately one of my little junk food things sometimes is just um, potato chips and some dip. What, and just what, what kind of dip? French onion dip. Of course, it's got to yeah. be. And, it, and it's got to be dip's good too. like Ruffles or Ridge or something like that. So mm -hmm. what about you? I, you know what? I've been lately Pringles, just plain old Pringles. That's, <laughs> and I don't know why. We've been going through Cheetos puffs like they're oh. nothing out of my house. Big couple of the hands. The crunchy or the, the puffy kind? The of big, puffy. huge, puffy ones, yep. I like the other ones. Though. Yep. Interesting. You need gloves for the both of them, though. But, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, Pringles, will you get going? Yeah, they're really and, good. And all the flavors are good, but the originals? Best one. Just the original, so. Mm -hmm. Why do we talk about food at this time of the I day don't when know. we're so hungry? Anyway, uh, what a gorgeous picture. I love that. And, of course, the caption, good morning from God's country in South Texas. That is pretty. And uh, notice how we don't have much of a breeze out there, a lot of clear skies. So that picture pretty much sums up what's going to be going on today. There's a little bit of a wind out of the southeast right now. 89 degrees in town, Hondo 92, New Braunfels, Gonzales 93 in Beeville. And these numbers are really actually pretty good dew point temperatures. Now we were about 72 earlier this morning here in town. We've dropped down to 67, 65 in Pleasanton. Of course, 60 is kind of the, the magic number, the really threshold number where you start to feel the humidity or don't feel it. It's down to 57 in Fredericksburg, 61 for a dew point in June junction even in Gonzales and Beville where you've had extremely high humidity in the past couple of weeks that's not bad although now we still have a heat index of course up to 100 Gonzales 102 Beville 97 in New Braunfels uh, but if you're in the shade and get a little breeze going or even you know hopping out of a pool or tubing something like that it will be it'll be somewhat more comfortable today and that's going to be the situation for the next couple of days but with the drier air, that also heats up a lot more quickly than the moist air does. So that's why temperatures have been continuing to go up and will continue to go up over the next few days. Smattering of clouds out there. Nothing is showing up along the coast right now as far as any rain. There may be a couple of sprinkles, but we still had, do have this flow coming in here off the Gulf of Mexico. That high, the one that is just cooking the Mid-South, is paying a visit back on top of us. It was here last week, moved away. Now it's coming back. And that's why one of the reasons why temperatures are going to be going up 99 for a high today with mostly sunny skies, one or two little clouds out there, not even a mention of a shower at all back down to 94. So back down to a normal low or normal high temperature, pardon me, tonight with uh, mostly clear skies. And then tomorrow, I think it's going to be a pretty good chance we get up to 100 degrees. Same thing on Saturday and Sunday. That high, which is going to be moving on top of us, will then sort of drift off to the west, weakening a little bit allowing temperatures to drop a couple of degrees and also then 
allowing little disturbances to come in here from the Gulf. So another small chance of rain comes back into the picture Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll take a little change to the pattern any day. We sure will. It's gonna be, at least the humidity's down, but it's going to be hot today in the next few days. So I'll think about Pringles instead. <laughs> Pringles, all right. New today at 5. Some important food recalls. Products that may be in your freezer or pantry right now. From canned black peas to frozen meals. We'll tell you why these popular foods are being pulled from store shelves. That's today at 5 after entertainment tonight. Sports is coming up next. Wake up and look at sports. All right, thank you, Mark. And we'll be right back. Homemade sauce. Back to late breaking news, a home invasion on the city's far north west side turned deadly after an elderly man fired shots, killing a would-be burglar. This all happened around 10 this morning in the 9700 block of Autumn Dew, which is off Braun Road inside Loop 1604. KSAT 12, Stephanie Cerna is live on the scene with details. Are police still on the scene, Stephanie? Well, Leslie, this attempt at home invasion happened about three hours ago, but yes, police are still on the scene. They have the entire street blocked off because they are still looking for other homeowners who may have been threatened by the same suspect this morning. Now, this all happened here on Autumn Dew Road. Police tell us that a man was attempting to break in a home there. The homeowner, who is in his late 70s, and his wife were inside the house at the time and heard the commotion. They tried to warn the burglary suspect to leave, but when he broke the front door handle, the male homeowner fired a shot through the door, hitting the suspect in the chest and killing him. We're told that homeowner will not face any charges. The individual was um, uh, trying to break in through the doors and the, and the windows. Uh, the homeowner did advise us that they were in possession of a handgun. Uh, it was an elderly male and his wife, an elderly female, that were inside of the house. Uh, it's my understanding that they were giving the individual commands, pleading with him to stop trying to break into the house. Now, there is no ID on the suspect at this time, but we are told that he is a man in his early to mid-40s. We're live on the city's far northwest side. Stephanie Serna, KSET 12 News. And now back to other late-breaking news. We're tracking this new three HEB warehouse employees now behind bars facing organized crime charges. KSAT 12's Pilar Arias live on the northeast side where the men were arrested this morning. Pilar, what exactly are they accused of stealing? The three men are accused of stealing pallets of produce for longer than a year. SAPD was contacted several weeks ago by HEB corporate security to look into the alleged crime. This morning, investigators felt like they had enough to issue the three arrest warrants and took the men into custody while they were working. We're told the men loaded the pallets onto a trailer and sold them to someone for much lower costs. We only got to see two of the suspects about an hour and a half ago because the third was already at the magistrate's office. SAPD doesn't know if anyone else was involved at this time. We're working closely with HEB and we're going to continue the investigation and the follow up and see if anybody else comes up as a suspect. And if, and if they do, we'll, we'll, we'll take a corner of the action. Although Sergeant Garcia doesn't know how long the men worked here at the warehouse, he did say that they're in their early 20s to early 60s. Reporting live on the northeast side, Pilar Arias, KSAT 12 News. Another police-involved shooting of an unarmed black man is caught on camera. Today, there's an active investigation into why the North Miami police officer discharged his weapon. The victim, identifying himself as a therapist who attempted to assist his autistic patient. ABC's Ray Ramonde explains what prompted the shooting. Cell phone video capturing the moments right before the gun went off. 47-year-old Charles Kinsey is the man you see with the bright shirt, lying on the ground with his hands high in the air, sitting at his feet, an autistic man Kinsey cares for. Take a listen as the assisted living therapist clearly identifies himself to authorities. The cell phone video released by Kinsey's lawyer shows police hiding behind a nearby pole with their guns drawn. At one point, you can even hear the therapist attempting to calm the man with autism. Video hasn't been released showing the shooting, but here's the scene after. Kinsey lying on his back, the autistic man being searched by police. Kinsey speaking from his hospital bed. When he hit me, I'm like, I still got my hands in there. I said, no, I just got shot. Kinsey's lawyer full of outrage. There is no justification to shoot a man who's laying on his back and telling you that he's unarmed. North Miami police today speaking out, telling us they're conducting an active and thorough investigation. We have witnessed statements 
there was a gun. We had a 911 call with that same information. However, I want to make it clear, there was no gun recovered. And that police officer, as part of standard procedure, is being placed on administrative duty. The state attorney's office is investigating. Charles Kinsey is expected to be released from the hospital within the next 24 to 48 hours. Ray Raymondi, ABC News, New York. Tense scene for New York City police officers after a man allegedly tossed a hoax bomb into a police car in Times Square. That led to a standoff. NYPD says they sent a robot in to communicate with the man after he barricaded himself inside a vehicle. Chaos started last night in Times Square when what appeared to be a bomb was thrown into the police squad car. Police said the object turned out to be a harmless electronic component wrapped in a cloth. Officers spotted the suspect's SUV early this morning. He was pulled over and later surrendered to authorities. The city of Baton Rouge is preparing for the funerals of three slain police officers. The visitation will take place this evening for Officer Matthew Gerald, and his funeral is set for tomorrow morning. The funeral for East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Parish, rather, Sheriff's Deputy Brad Garofalo, will be held on Saturday. Montrell Jackson, also of the City Police Department, will be buried on Monday. All three were shot to death Sunday by Gavin Long. The gunman was killed by police. Three other officers were wounded. It is the last day of the Republican National Convention, but will it bring even more tense moments from the arena in Cleveland? Last night, former presidential candidate Ted Cruz was booed off the stage after he refused to publicly endorse Donald Trump, while Trump watched it all from the wings. ABC Stephanie Ramos has more on the dramatic evening at the GOP convention. Today, Ted Cruz, who at one point was Donald Trump's toughest challenger for the nomination, told the Texas delegation why he could not endorse Trump. I'll tell you the day that pledge was abrogated, was the day this became personal. I am not in the habit of supporting people who attack my wife and attack my father. He's not budging. Cruz's speech overshadowing everything last night, even Eric Trump's time on stage, as Trump told CBS this morning. I thought it was classless, to tell you the truth. I thought it was a little bit classless. It all started with this moment when Cruz took the stage on night three of the Republican National Convention, upstaging VP nominee Mike Pence. Stand and speak and vote your conscience. And that caused this. During Cruz's final lines, Trump entered the convention hall from the back. Cruz then made his swift exit as hecklers shouted at him, and his wife Heidi had to be escorted out of the arena because of physical threats. So why did Cruz even show up? Mr. Trump believes Ted Cruz was one of the candidates who ran for president. He should be allowed the opportunity to help bring the party together again. Tonight's final theme is Make America One Again as Trump prepares to deliver his speech on the biggest night of the convention and accept the party's nomination. He still needs to bring the Republican Party behind him and then the American people behind him. Back to that Texas delegation breakfast this morning, Cruz had some delegates shouting Cruz will never be president and another vowing to write in Cruz in November. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, Cleveland. Our crew in Cleveland, Steve Spreester and Ryan Lloyd, will be there at the RNC all day long. Look for their stories on our website at ksat.com and in our later newscasts. CityCam giving us a live look outside. We were, well, Mark was joking all morning long. Can we just have a 21% chance of rain in the forecast? For Tim Duncan Day, why not? It's not going to happen. Is Maybe 21 clouds in the sky. Mm, there may be 21 in that picture. That's about it. That's about all you're going to be able to see today. Um, you know, the past couple of days, we have had at least a few showers that have already started to pop up along the coastal plain at this time. And here's a look at radar right now. And... There's, now, there may be a couple of sprinkles well down there to the southeast, but anything is pretty much going to be confined down here out of our area today. And that's going to be the situation through the tomorrow and the weekend. Then by next week, it does look like we'll see about a 21% chance for some rain because the Gulf, which is you know, had been opened up. We got these disturbances sliding on in here. It's now kind of getting shut off for the next few days and also much hotter temperatures over the weekend. Then this is going to start to sort of open back up, if you will. I'll explain that coming up here and temperatures will be dropping down just a little bit by next week. So got to grin and bear it through the weekend. Try and stay cool. Details on that coming up in just a couple of minutes. Leslie. 
All right. Similar alert, General Motors recalling a round of Chevy Impalas. Details on a serious hazard that could leave you injured in a crash. Here are your afternoon lottery numbers. You're watching KSAT 12 News at Noon. We're glad you're with us, and we're back after this break. General Motors is recalling older model Chevy Impala sedans because the airbags may not inflate in a crash. The recall covers Impalas from 2009 and 2010 model years that were made before February 10, 2010. General Motors says the front passenger seat frame can rub against the wiring of the passenger detection sensor. Damaged wiring could cut power to the sensor and knock out the airbags. Airbag warning lights will illuminate if the wires are chafed, but some gauges may not work dealers will add anti-abrasion tape to fix the problem. Speaking of General Motors, General Motors, uh, once uh, the once Trumbull automaker, reporting record profits now. GM reported $2.9 billion in profits in the second quarter. That's more than double what it made a year ago. Strong sales in both the U.S. and China lifted sales and earnings. Shares of GM jumped more than 5% of pre-market trading on that news. Shares had been down 7% so far this year through Wednesday's close on worries about the condition of the American auto industry. Tinder expanding from the one-on-one -on -one meeting to a group night out. The dating app now features the ability to organize an impromptu night out with friends and a few strangers. New feature is called Tinder Social. It requires you to have at least one friend who uses the app, for example, you and a friend want to hit up a concert or bar, the app will match you up with two other people interested in attending the same event. But no need to worry about stalkers. The app erases all your group matches after the event. Take another look, live look outside with City Cam. Well, here's the good news. It's Tim Duncan Day today. We have Garth Brooks coming to town tomorrow. We have great weather for it, it's warm. Okay, I was wondering where you're going with that, but we'll find the silver lining and the uh, positive note. Also, the, the positive note is the fact that the humidity is down somewhat. It is 94 in Gonzales. These are the actual air temperatures. 93 Pleasant, then 89 Hondo. Same thing out there at the airport. And dew point temperatures, the measure moisture in the atmosphere, when you're down in the 60s, that's okay. And even 50s out in portions of the hill country. So pretty dry air out there. Now, of course, we do have a lot more humidity over toward Gonzales. So a heat index of 102, same thing LaGrange, but 93 in Kerrville and only feels like 90 in Rock Springs as of right now. So that's kind of the, the positive side to forecast. A little bit drier air moving on in here, but hot thermometers this weekend. Details coming up. You're watching the news at noon. Recently. Spotlight actor Peter McNichol has been disqualified after being nominated for an Emmy. McNichol was nominated for Best Guest Actor in a Comedy Series for his role in Veep. The Television and Academy rules were changed last year, and now guest actors must appear in fewer than half the season's episodes to qualify. Unfortunately, he appeared in one too many episodes. And get this, it was only for a few seconds of an episode that aired after the submission deadline. The Academy says it plans to name a replacement nominee. Twitter's banned conservative tech writer Milo Yiannopoulos, who they say helped fuel hateful messages directed at Ghostbusters star Leslie Jones. Jones, part of the all-star female cast of the Ghostbusters reboot, reboot rather. She announced earlier this week she was quitting Twitter, saying she'd received a barrage of racist and sexist tweets. Yiannopoulos says he did nothing wrong. He tells ABC News, quote, Leslie Jones ain't afraid of no ghosts, but evidently she's allergic to bad reviews, end quote. Actress Shannon Doherty is sharing her battle with breast cancer with the world. The star of the TV shows Beverly Hills 90210 and Charmed posted photos of her shaved head on Instagram. She was photographed with her mother and a friend. Doherty went public with her fight against cancer last August after she filed a lawsuit against her former business manager. She claims her manager did not pay her health insurance premiums that caused her coverage for the actress to lapse. And it even happens to movie stars. The coverage is, I mean, it puts a big financial burden on a lot of families and patients. It sure does. That's, that's really terrible that our um, insurance lapsed. If, yes. Yes, indeed. So.
All right, it is uh, hot and going to be hotter this weekend. So, oh, thank you for that. Yeah, Great. Okay, so the nice thing is, though, at least the humidity is going to be down somewhat. That's so, something. You know, and that's Dry where. Dry heat, blah, blah, blah. Well, not blah, blah, blah. I mean, at least <laughs> if you get in the, in the shade, it's a little more comfortable. Mm -hmm. If you get out of the pool, it feels colder. Right, because. Because it evaporates something like that for much more efficiently, efficiently. quickly off your body how many so. years have we been studying this I know, right? evaporation is a cooling process mm -hmm. that's how your body cools itself so if there's no basically if there's no room in the atmosphere for you to you know when you perspire so therefore you won't cool it down as quickly so Pr pretty bird <laughs> You want a crack or two there Polly <laughs> <laughs> look at that thing it's gorgeous it is a painted bunting pretty bird mm. <laughs> pretty bird, pretty bird. This is going to go on for the next three minutes, isn't it? Anyway, yes, that is a gorgeous case at Connect picture. Thank you very much for that beautiful. That was taken over there in East Bear County. Satellite picture over the past 12 hours. Well, there may be now a couple of uh, sprinkly showers trying to show up down here along the coast. But, you know, if anything comes in any further than Beeville, be kind of surprised by that. There will be one or two of them then down there to the southeast. Now, around the country, we are actually not right in the heart of this heat wave that's been going on. It is 95 right now in Wichita and 94 as far north as St. Louis, 91 up there in Omaha. Then you have to factor in all of the humidity and they've got some heat index values that are even higher than what we're seeing as of right now. 107 St. Louis, 104 right now in Memphis. So the heart of that and even 107 in New Orleans, the heart of it is this big area of high pressure. That's the one that was on top of us last week sort of moved on out. We were talking about those subtle changes. That's what we had last weekend and the first part of this week with some of that uh, that rain that we got around here because it opened up the Gulf of Mexico. But now what that's going to be doing as we go into the next couple of days, it will sit there and slide back basically on top of us. And so it's going to kind of be in the way of anything trying to move in here from the Gulf of Mexico. We won't have any of those good uh, little ripples or disturbances that are going to try and come on in here from the Gulf, which is the situation as of right now. So anything that's, again, trying to move in here from the Gulf is instead going to sort of be shoved down there to the south of us. Now, once we get into the end of the weekend and the first part of next week, that high is going to sort of work its way back off and weaken a little bit and scooch off to the west somewhat. So then that will in turn allow these little waves, these little disturbances to move on in here from the Gulf of Mexico. So it won't be any sort of a sure thing as far as rain chances, but at least we will have the chance for some rain coming in here by uh, about Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. So until then, Enjoy the heat. Pretty bird. Look at the birds. Anyway, something like that. 99 for a high temperature today with a lot of sunshine out there. Winds out of the southeast at roughly 10 to 15 miles per hour. Lower humidity. Yes, we will still have somewhat of a heat index to deal with. But again, if you're in the shade, it will be slightly more comfortable. 94 degrees tonight at 8 o'clock with mostly clear skies, partly cloudy tomorrow. Start off mid 70s, normal high, excuse me, normal low temperatures, high temperatures, five degrees above normal, plenty of sunshine. That's going to be tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. So far, we've hit three triple digit readings officially, three times 100 here in town. I think we're going to chalk up a few more going in through the weekend. Then as that high kind of edges off to the west of us and weakens slightly, we will see temperatures drop down a little bit and a little bit of a chance for some rain by Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, we'll take the little bit of chance we can get. Yep it. Thanks. Yep it. That's yep, yep. I was going to say yes indeed and yep. <laughs> so we have a new word now. It's yep it. Wow. Friday, <laughs> Friday can't come soon enough for the three of us, right? No kidding. Pretty bird. Pretty We're going to take a look at sports coming up next. Yes, we want a cracker. How is Jeff? But I say live, a sandwich named after Tim Duncan. Plus a tie-dye craft the kids can do at home. Hey, Jeff and Fiona. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Mark. Hi, Jeff. And it's a big day here in Studio B. <laughs> yeah, so we, of course, are wearing our Tim Duncan Check it out. T-shirts. It's Tim Duncan Day. Mm -hmm. You got one of these? <laughs> Collector's edition. 21st of July, thanks to the mayor. Great idea. Uh, and the fundamentals of any man's diet. Brisket and, and mac, mac and cheese. Yeah, like she said. <laughs> and we're, we're going to make a, uh, a combo, an alley-oop, if you will, of big-time food payoff coming up. I can't wait to show you that. And you got to wash it down. 
That's the third fundamental. Mm -hmm. With beers. That's right. We're going to show you how you can crack a cold one and go cruising in our big adventure. Don't worry, you don't do the driving. And there is a sandwich that has been named after Big Timmy. We'll make that with the Grouchy Mama. <laughs> uh, that's coming up. We'll tell you what's included in that and where you can find it. It is all coming up on SA Live. Just so, a few minutes. Happy Tim Duncan Day. Mmm, brisket. I'm Artic. Traffic alert right now if you're headed into Braunfels, San Marcos, or Austin. I-35 northbound completely shut down right now due to some sort of traffic incident, but two giant fire trucks are blocking the lanes with fire and EMS units on the scene right now. But again, 35 shut down northbound at Walnut Avenue in New Braunfels. Looks like they may start to slowly clear the scene. Slowly, that's the key word, isn't it? I see a wrecker out there, so that's a good sign. Mike? We have got hot temperatures not only today, but for the next couple of days, we will see 99 today. And then now the good the good part is we have some lower humidity, but that allows temperatures to get up there. So yes, we will be seeing thermometers hit 100 the next couple of days. Heat index values obviously in the low hundreds. And then next chance of rain, albeit small, comes in here middle of next week. <laughs> It's, you still need that little glamour hope, though, which yeah. we appreciate very much. Yeah, we do. Even the uh, desperation of putting the raindrop icons on there, even though it's like a 1% chance of rain. Right. Yeah. I'll take it. Thank you, sir. I noticed that Fiona and Jeff have their Spurs Tim Duncan spirit going on today. Day yes, we do. Day two. Today. Tim yes. Duncan Day. It's Tim Duncan Day. And, you know, Timmy has done so much for the community. We wanted to thank him by giving back. Yeah, we're aff offering you the chance to step in and, uh, you know, make the next play. <laughs> so help us by doing 21 of something positive today. We're calling this 21 for 21. I'm going to leave and continue what we've started. Okay. Oh, no, that means he's coming uh -oh. over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, brace yourselves. We're thinking some examples of, you know, 21 good things is like 21 uh, cans to the food bank. 21 hugs, 21 messages to friends and family to tell them that you love them, 21 high fives, $21 to a local charity. Hey, in some hello. way. Hey, is he there yet? That is was... he there? there he is. What's he going to do? I'm going to hug oh. Leslie Mouton. Oh, so this is. 21 times? 21 hugs. 21 hugs. <laughs> Just stay there for 21 minutes. That's right. <laughs> See, we're, we're here in the building with y'all, right? <laughs> you just proved it. Well, yeah. what, what's wrong? Was, think, actually, she, I love it. It's a great idea, and I like your shirt. Where'd thank you, you very much. I, I made it I in, the tr in the back of the truck on the way over. No, there's a company. This is a collector's really? edition. I forget the name of the company all the time. Uh, great. I love it. But they're, they're really uh, cool. Any, anyway, so we're giving out hugs. Okay. Yeah. So you're going back uh, yeah. to Studio Bu? Yeah, but Studio Bu. We couldn't afford the whole beat. But uh, <laughs> we are looking for a new home. No hug for Mark. We gave 21 hugs earlier to folks around the office. Here's a look at some of those pictures. Goodbye, Amber. You guys will take it from here. <laughs> Hi. Hey, we're back. So here's a look at what hey, we did here's Megan. To try and help spread the love. And hey, you know, maybe even pay it forward. You yeah. know, today. If you can't do 21 or something, maybe, you know, buy the next person's coffee and do something good. Look at you. Look at Josie. Josie, she's like, no, I can't handle yeah. it, but I want it. Oh, there's Scott. Yeah, he's designing our new set. Oh, it's our boss. There's the that's the head <laughs> man. Yeah, that's why I was leaning in closer. So we're doing. Oh, there's Ishi's Romero. Oh, look at you with the cutouts. Yeah, still, she she out. really doesn't do meet and greets. All right, so let us know how are you paying it forward for Tim Duncan? Share your hashtag 21 for 21, and we could share your picture and story on the show. Yeah, we'll make you famous. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready to dig into some good food? I know Shane Reed is here, and when he walked in the door, we could smell it, <laughs> and that's a good thing. Dig now what he meets is here. He's got an appetite pleaser, a signature burnt end loaded baked potato and more. Hey Shane. What? what? All right, you guys ready? All right. So Wait. What is that? Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> this is uh this would be our burn-in melt. Uh it's definitely uh been a popular item over the last year and a half since we've been open. Uh this is our 
brisket burn ends uh, with our house made mac and cheese, oh, yeah. slicedly thin pear topped with more cheese, barbecue sauce, and ciabatta. Uh, lightly toasted for a couple of minutes to your satisfaction and out the door. And wow. lightly down in my belly That's right. for the rest of the day and wash it down with something good. Looks like a spur. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, branch lines, uh, silver and black can. Uh, definitely uh, recommended to go uh, down with the burn in mouth and the brisket baked potato. So now you, you smoke all your meat in house, right? Yes, ma'am. We smoke means. all of our meats, uh, the brisket to turkey to uh, smoked bologna, pastrami. Uh, pork belly, I mean, you name it, we've got it. We try to uh, accommodate all the taste buds. So the burnt end loaded baked potato, the burnt end refers to the brisket, right? Correct, yes. We uh, use the whole brisket on this one. Uh, we cube it down. We smoke it anywhere from 8 to 12 hours, depending on the size. Um, we let it rest in the freezer for about an hour after smoke. We cut it down into cube size um, pieces, like as you so, can see. Yeah, so if you've ever smoked your own brisket, you've, you've come across these little morsels of, of meat, right? Beautiful. They're, oh, absolutely. So, yeah. They're we, the point of the brisket, right? Correct. You saved okay. the best for last, right? Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right, so how do we get started with okay. this? Okay. You, you, you want to get into this? Fiona, you, uh, mm. I'm going to handle the sandwich while you wrestle the baked potato. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> How'd I draw that straw? <laughs> but I have the knife. <laughs> Sounds pretty even to me. All right. All right. We're going to go from tip all the way down. Cut. Straight down. Straight down. There all you the go. way through. All the way through. All the way like that. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, Keep going. Yeah. Okay. To right there. Beautiful. Almost. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to open it up just like that. Okay. Now you're going to take this knife. Mm -hmm. You're going to open it up a little bit, kind of. Break just it down a little bit, make it a little bit easier for everybody to eat. Yeah, just break it in there, get in there, get in there, just break it in there. Just break just it in there. Yeah, like little right. Michael Myers on right. it. There you what? go. What? <laughs> Michael Myers! Now that's a knife! There you go. All right. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, right now we're going to hit it with uh, our uh, kosher salt. So, just a pinch? Pinch. You know, there you go. Perfect. Okay. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. A pinch of our uh, house seasoning, which is our crazy Carl seasoning. It's, oh, beautiful. Perfect. Ooh, you like right. it? Oh, you yes, like, I it like it spicy. Like yes, I do. You are like spicy. It spicy. <laughs> is Crazy Carl in a sanitarium somewhere? Uh, Who is he? Crazy Carl is actually our uh, food truck that is actually located at the block UTSA. Okay. So, I'm just uh, checking. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a crazy guy out there. But, yeah, all right. That's Crazy so, Carl. We're going to hit it with the butter. Okay. Hit it. I mean, we we all love butter here, so no, we're gonna go one here. Let's get two more dollops over two, there. And then one more. Now, if you're gonna get there a big potato, go. you might as well do it right, right? Oh yeah. Okay, we got the butter. Now we're gonna go with the mac and cheese. Ooh, all right. Ooh, what's what's it seasoned with? Is that just? That is our actually the house seasoning, uh -huh. salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. And Okay. Simplicity is always good sometimes. Okay. Beautiful. Got plenty of mac on there. Next, with the burnt ends. All right. So now the burnt ends. So you just kind of, uh, how, how much of this am I putting in there? All right. Uh, load it up. Just load it up. This load is the loaded part of the baked potato. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Be generous. Oh, there you yes. Go. Beautiful. Okay. All right. I think that looks good. Okay. All right. Now we're going to hit it with some more cheese. With some more cheese. Beautiful. All right, Watch on the this. top. Oh, look at this. Okay. Goodness. Look at that. Chive? Some chives. Whoa. Beautiful. A little jalapeno? Some jalapenos. <coughs> Whoo, I know, right? I'm going to need something to watch that down. And now the sour cream. And just some sour cream. All right. Beautiful. Ooh, look that at that. That is amazing. Oh, beautiful. Oh, so there it is. Dressed. Oh, that my is, gosh. It is beautiful. incredible. You need a job? <laughs> <laughs> I would need training wheels. I would be eating I need everything. To, uh, may I try no, some of this? To. This is what's happening. We need to go ahead and dig into this. Shane, this is tailored by where they can find you. We're at uh, 1701 East Houston Street. Uh, we're, we're actually in the old Murph Burger, um, the old Murph Burger building. Uh, it's been a building for uh, around, uh, it's been around for a long, long time. and. Uh, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. So uh, you can find us anywhere from 5 to 10, Monday through Friday. Uh, and then we reopen, uh, I'm sorry, 11 to 3, Monday through Friday for lunch, and then 5 to 10, uh, Monday through Saturday for dinner, which is a la carte barbecue. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah take right. them on for later. Very right. nice. For more information on Dignity Meats, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Let me All tell right, you, so you, with you, you did a great job building that. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Tim Duncan. You guys, happy Tim Duncan Day. Yeah, <laughs> no, we're going to dig into that in a moment. <laughs> well, with all that food, you kind of need to wash it down. So I found a place where you can 
crack a cold one and enjoy a cruise. It's a cool new experience to experience all the cool breweries in and around San Antonio, even all the way up to the hill country. Mm -hmm. Watch this as we take a craft cruise. Yes, five o'clock with vapor cans. Jailbreak. Hey, Fiona, yeah. would you like to go on another SA Live big adventure? Why, yes, I would. It's a good thing we're sponsored by... Ansara Winton Chevrolet. Go to AnsaraWintonChev.com. Hop aboard. I shall. Your chariot awaits. The big adventure starts now. Okay, we're here. You want to tour some of San Antonio's coolest breweries? The problem is you need a ride. Oh, I found one. Oh! Our big adventure is on Craft Cruiser. They will take you all over San Antonio and even as far as Marble Falls. Hey, y'all ready for a cold beer? Hey, all right, let's go on our big adventure. Let's get on board. So Dan Ward is the owner of Craft Cruisers and he is our chauffeur today on our big adventure. <laughs> yes. Dan, tell us a little bit about Craft Cruisers. Well, Craft Cruiser, we started off as uh, we just wanted to get people to realize that Marble Falls has a lot of great breweries in it, a couple like Save the World and stuff. But then I started thinking, why not explore San Antonio since we live here and everything is fantastic as well. So then I just started thinking more and more and more, well, you know, there's over 900 breweries in Texas alone. so. Let's share that knowledge with everybody in San Antonio. How do folks register or hop aboard? Right, you just go to sacraftcruiser.com and you'll, it's really easy to navigate and really easy to buy a ticket there. Oh, wow, this, this is like a dream come true. It's the biggest beer ever. It's just a beer. Cheers. Well, we've cruised on in. The craft cruiser has landed. <laughs> Eugene Seymour, owner of the Alamo uh, Beer Company, joins us, and you have lined up some beers for tasting. Well, welcome. Typically what we do on one of our tours is we go through a tasting. Uh, we line up the different beers, and you can see that they are different colors, but they also taste different as well. It's handcrafted. When we tour the brewery, you'll see we brew it in small batches, and it goes right from the building over there right to the tap here, and uh, you'll go through a tasting. You get to discover that uh, different beers made with different grains have different flavors and different tastes to it. It's kind of fun, so give that one a try. What do you think? It's good. Next. Oh, I think you'd like this one. What we do now is typically we will we'll, we'll do a full glass of beer and we'll walk through the uh, the uh, brewery and give you an idea of how everything's made. Cheers. <laughs> You are in an active brewery. Please don't touch anything. Look at here, hot liquor pump, hot, hot liquor pump. Yo! I'm hearing things. So this is what we call the, the brewing system or the, or the brew house. This, wow. is, this is the hot side of things. This is where we take the malted barley, we mix it with hot water. It creates almost a porridge in this kettle here, which is called the mash tun. That gets pumped up to the kettle up there on the top. That's called the lauder tun. It has a big screen in the bottom. No, I was serious about not touching anything. <laughs> I don't want to get I kicked out before I, I finish I'm my beer. We, we all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Hey. Thanks for the tour, Eugene. Sure. You're here. Woo. All right, guys, got ready to go. Let's head on to the next one. Let's go, Dan. Let's go. You're driving. <laughs> She's on her 17th beer. Hey. <laughs> Always a big adventure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lots of fun. We want to thank Ansira Winton Chevrolet. You can head to their website at ansirachev.com. April was in the back of the craft cruiser with us. You didn't <laughs> see her there, but we, we know she was asleep. Coming up on SA Live, we're getting messy with tie-dye. We're going to show you how you can make your own colorful T-shirts at home. All right. It's Tim Duncan Day. We are celebrating with the Grouchy Mama. And we're going to make their signature Big Timmy sandwich. It's a slam dunk next on SA Live. This is monster.
I'm Doc. It's Tim Duncan Day, July the 21st, 2016. We salute the man, the big fundamental. We're making the big Timmy sandwich with the grouchy mama. But look, she's pleasant. <laughs> Hi, Pearl Flores. Hello. Nice How to see you? you. It's good to see you again. We love your food truck. Thank you. You stopped by today to introduce us to the Big Timmy, and yes. this sandwich has so many great things in it. You just told yes. me it has all the fundamentals of a great sandwich, doesn't yes, it? Yes, sir. Tell me what's on it. It is our pulled pork that we wrap in banana leaves and cook overnight, and we slice some Polish sausage, so we're putting the pork down, sliced sausage, barbecue sauce, pickle, and... Oh, wow. Now, tell me what you again do to this barbecue. We wrap it in banana leaves, almost Kahlua style, Hawaiian Kahlua. You mind? No, go ahead. <laughs> All right, that's one ingredient. Yes. And I approve. Okay. <laughs> just, just, just so you know, see, the grouchy mama's not unhappy. Now, we're also cooking some Polish sausage over here. And how did you decide that this would be a part of the big, the big Timmy? Well, he announced his retirement, and we were at the block all weekend, and we wanted to do a sandwich in his honor. So we put the Timmy on the board, and it sold really well out there. And they were like, "What kind of sandwich is that?" And we're like, "It's just a bunch of pork." <laughs> a lot of a lot of big food for a big guy who's done a lot of great things for San yes. Antonio. And I love your shirt. Where did you get that? Uh, our friends from Alamo Stampin' Engraving. She go. made them for us last night in the last minute. Oh, well, see, that's how you get it done. We we salute the big 21 today. Man. Yes. That's it, and you do. You can so we be, thank her for that. You can be under 21 to order one of these sandwiches because I know you guys have an event today at <laughs> USA, USA. Yes, sir. And then you're going to be. Where are you going to be cooking this weekend? This weekend, Friday, we are at in Cibolo at Old Main Ice House. Oh wow! And Sunday we have a private event, and at the end of the month we'll be back at the block. Okay. And then the beginning of the month we'll finally be making it to the point. Okay. Well, again, you got to find Grouchy Mama. So let's make this sandwich. Okay. okay. I think I'm doing pretty good with the sauce. Here. Here. Looks beautiful. And big Timmy. All right, so we put a big, big helping of that banana wrapped pulled pork that you're famous for at Grouchy Mama's on. Look at that. I gotta tell you how good this looks. Yes. Wow. That's gonna be a big sandwich. And then we put four of these. Four. One. Two. That's like a three pointer with a technical added in. <laughs> and you crossed it over. Look at, yes. look at that monster. So that it doesn't fall off. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then Pearl. we drizzle. Drizzle. Some. And, that, and what does that have in it? It's a barbecue sauce I make. It has onions. Um, look at that. Apple cider vinegar. Jalapeno mustard. Okay, so it's got onions in the barbecue sauce. And then what do you add now? We just add some pickles on top. And that gives it some beautiful color. And there we go. May I try this? Of course. This is the big fundamental. Big. <laughs> it, this is the big fundamentally. Big <laughs> Timmy. And uh, it may take 21 bites to eat it. But it's available on the Grouchy Mama food yes, sir. truck. Look at this. Yeah. This, is, this one's for you, Tim. I'm taking one for you, Tim. <laughs> Whoa. That is the Grouchy Mama. Thanks for coming by this morning. Coming up, the doctor is in inspirational stories on how people in our community are making a difference and making this a great place to live in the medical community. Also, the Deco Arts Festival has lots of great performers. We'll hear from these local ladies. That is coming up on SA Live. When the night Thanks for watching SA Live. I'm Jeff Roper along with Fiona Gorsiza and we celebrate San Antonio and you know here in this town with so many medical backgrounded people, the UT Health Science Center San Antonio is home to hundreds of professionals that are changing lives in split seconds right here in the medical field. And as a part of our new segment called The Doctor Is In, we're going to be sharing some of their inspiring and amazing stories, Fiona. Today we're featuring Dr. Stacy Young McCann, who's currently doing research on how exercise affects recovering patients. Here's her story. 
up in a very small town in upstate New York. Both my parents were teachers and I think I learned service from them and helping others, whether it be young children or community members. Uh, when I was only 11 years old, my mother had breast cancer. My mom had a radical mastectomy, was very sick after surgery. But I remember my dad took my brothers and I up to see her and my mom asked me for a back rub. I don't know if she needed a back rub, but I think she recognized that we needed a physical connection, a touching between each other. And we were really lucky. My mom's still alive, doing really well in her late 80s. And I think that was my first introduction to nursing, taking care of other people during a period of critical illness and stress. Uh, when it came time for me to go to school, it just seemed like a natural choice to go into nursing school. And then once I graduated, I ended up joining the Army Nurse Corps and was very fortunate to be assigned to an oncology unit. In 1987, I was accepted to do my master's degree at Yale University uh, and had to do a research project. And at that point, People who had cancer were so sick, we told them just to go home and rest, go to bed, just take care of yourself. And even after taking care of patients for 10 years, that advice didn't really ring true to me. Being in the Army, I had to exercise regularly, I had to watch what I ate, and I know that I felt better after I exercised and when I exercised regularly. And I thought that that might be true for patients with cancer also. And so sure enough, I did one of the very first studies. It was very simple, just asking women who had gone through breast cancer surgery and treatment if they were able to exercise and then how they felt afterwards. Well, no big surprise now, although it was a surprise at the time, the women who were able to exercise did feel better and had a higher quality of life. So that hooked me on not only the scientific method, but documenting the benefits of exercise in populations of people that we hadn't normally thought about uh, exercising. I was recruited in 2008 to join the faculty at the University of Texas Health Science Center here in San Antonio and by Dr. Alan Peterson. And Dr. Peterson had just been funded to conduct a series of clinical trials uh, looking at evidence-based treatments for post-traumatic stress disorder in our servicemen and women. Uh, my study as part of the consortium tests exercise in the treatment of PTSD. We recognize that many people run as a coping mechanism to deal with high stress situations and we were wondering if we could use exercise in combination with talk therapy to make the talk therapy work even better. When you look at the power of medicine and the likelihood that medicine will um, it, uh, resolve an issue somebody's having, exercise has a much bigger effect than most any medication there is out there. It's not as easy. Just taking a pill is a lot easier to do. But exercise is medicine also, and that makes really good sense to me and would help uh, people's quality of life, and that's what I'd like to try and accomplish with my career and the things that I'm doing at the Health Science Center. For more information on UT Health Science Center San Antonio, give them a call at 450-9000. Again, that's 210-450-9000 or head to their website, utmedicine.com. And we'll be featuring different medical professionals from UT Health Science Center San Antonio as a part of Hello, the Doctor is In. <laughs> Coming up, they're about to bring down the house. Local girls Serena, Chloe, and Mia will perform next. We're going to tell you where you can catch them in concert this weekend. And hey, we're paying it forward. We want you to give 21 of something to someone else. And producer Rossi says paying it forward by giving 21 kisses to this bundle of joy. That means she's waiting for 21 kisses. <laughs> it's our clip. It's a
network for young artists to develop their artistic skills. And get this, it's $25 a month and they can take advantage of all these artistic and music classes. Diana Aravalo from the Naya program is here to tell us about this wonderful, affordable program offered to local kids in the area. I mean, $25 and they can go to how many types of classes? So we offer voice, dance, drums, guitar, and of course, piano as well. So for the amount that they spend a month, they can take all those classes or one, but we don't do recitals, we do real shows. So some of the places we've performed at have been Oyster Bake. We've had our own stage at Oyster Bake. We performed at the San Antonio Rodeo, or we've been opening acts at the Majestic Theater. So they get real life experience in the performing arts at our program. So how long has the NIA program been going on? So it started in 1999 by a high school coach that just wanted to provide a music education for kids and it evolved to what it is today. So we're very excited about our program. But one thing a lot of people don't know is we are Grammy members. We have a two-time Grammy winning artist that teaches our vocal class who has toured the world with Janet Jackson as her backup singer, Rebecca Valadez. So we're so proud to have her on board as a staff member member to teach all of our kids. And some of those kids are with us today, yes. Serena, Maya, and Chloe. Hi, you guys. Now, how long have they been with the Naya program? So each of them have ranged in different uh, time periods, but I know Mia's family has been with Naya since the beginning, since we've had our founder in charge. But also we've had um, one, one of those students been with us just for a few months, another for three years. So it's a great range, but they've all performed as the opening act for Mickey Gilly and Johnny Lee at the Majestic Theater. That's cool, you guys. Yeah. So and that was actually Chloe's first show <laughs> when she came to the program. So, um, and I know ever since coming on board, they've gotten so many more opportunities to perform and showcase their talent, and I'm really proud of them. All right. Now, they're going to be performing this weekend at yes. the Deco District Arts and Music Festival, which is happening Sunday, July 24th from noon to 10 p.m. at 1800 Fredericksburg Road. For more information on the NIA program, visit salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Take it away, girls. When the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see.
watching SA Live, Jeff Roper getting a little tie-dye crazy in here. Art Works, an art studio for kids and big kids like me. That's right. And Maritza Gonzalez Cooper is here, and this is so much fun because we get to make a mess, and That's you get to have right. a cool T-shirt. Yes, afterwards. definitely. How long have you been in business? We have been at the Leon Springs location. We have been open 10 years, but overall, the Nacogdoches location has been open 20 years. So we've been serving kids of San Antonio area for 20 years now. And were you an art teacher, or did you just love to do projects? I just and love to work with kids. Uh, I love art. I like to get messy. So I yes. figured this was the perfect thing for us to do. We have done this on my back porch before, but we're going to make tie-dye t-shirts, and there's some tricks to this. Yes, definitely. Now, we pre-soak these um, in a special solution that allows the cotton to absorb the dye better. So now that they've been pre-soaked, we just lay it out, kind of put the plate underneath in the yeah. middle there. There's a, there's a paper plate yes. up underneath. We want to show you that because that's where we're going to put the dye. Exactly. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pinch right in the center right here, grab a good amount of cloth. Then we're going to go ahead and just twist it. So we're just going to make a and belly just button. just keep twisting until you can kind of get all the t-shirt on the plate. I never keep knew this going, is how this worked. Going. There you go. So what we're going to do now is we've got some dye right here set out for us. We've got multiple colors to choose from. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your center color. And we're going to go right, like you said, for that belly button right there. Pick okay. your color so out. I'm going to go big red. And we're going to just dab. Make sure you're getting lots of dye. <laughs> sorry, I don't think they caught that. You, you said dab. Oh. So we're going to go right. No, oh, sorry. Cam Newton called. He said, stop it, quit it. So we go right in the middle, just yes, like this. Almost, exactly. almost like I'm uh, making a rose. Do you exactly. see this? Exactly. And see just. This. Get that dye all the way through all the layers of cloth right in there. You might have to get some more dye on your little brush here, your sponge brush. I like it when you talk to me like I'm six. <laughs> That's great. Get some dye on your little brush. And that All right. Well, <laughs> I think you, look at that. That looks fantastic. That's going to bleed into the next it effect. It is. I can just yes. feel it. <laughs> so I pick another color. Pick another color and go ahead and grab that. Yellow and blue make green. And that's right. You're good. I learned that from a Ziploc commercial. <laughs> Did you really? Well, yeah, you remember that, right? So if I do yellow, that's going to make orange on the red, right? Right. So, so wait a second. What we're going to uh, do now is we're going to go in a circle around, around the blue. That's right. And you're going up and down. Now, when you're, yes, make sure you're getting more dye on your sponge brush here. So we keep, and keep going and, just, and it just goes. That's right. Just all the way around. All the way around. Once we're happy with the way it looks, we're actually going to turn this over. Which one am I in? Uh, there you I'm go. Sorry. You're in blue. You're fine. We're going to turn this over when we're done with one side, and we're going to make sure that we uh, follow the same pattern on the other side as well. Oh, so i got to remember this. Yes. Yeah, that's going to be Although you'll see some of the color bleeding through to the other side, so it won't make it too difficult. I'm afraid I'm not. This is not. I've never done this before. Believe well, it or don't. I've never, I've never me. done this before, and my kids Looks have done great. this. And you know what? When they bring these home from a birthday party, it's the favorite take home, you know, gift because These, it's a it's a yes, moment they that they created and they exactly. can wear it and they and they keep coming back. Yeah. What other kind of programs do you offer there at Artworks? Well, we have a multitude of things. We besides our birthday parties and this is one of the options that we can do at a birthday party. Uh, we also have camps going on right now, summer camps. Yeah. Yes, you remember That's right green, spot. right? Yes, sir. We have summer camps, we have classes, weekly classes. We do art night out once a month as well. Now what does that mean? Art night out is when parents get to drop the kids off and go on a date night. It's $20 oh, per wow. child. And the hey, kids are happy because they make cool stuff and they get yes. to take it home with them. And that's look at that. Right. Look at the birthday cakes that exactly. come with the party. Look at that stuff, man. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, <laughs> and that's, you're working with Fondant there. Do you all design that? or have No, the, actually, the, kid, the, the parents the get the to parents bring those bring in. The parents bring their yes, own food in and do. you provide the entertainment. Exactly. So for more information, on artworks, just go to salive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, and get creative. Thank you, Maritza. For, this is so cool. I can't wait well, to have a Well, it was our pleasure. Thanks for having us. shirt to play in. Friday night.
Welcome back to the Alamo City's number one way to spend the afternoon, SA Live. I'm Jeff Roper, and if you've always wanted that perfect smile, we have a way for you to make that happen. Garrett Greer is here. He's the Chief Marketing Officer for Celebrate Dental and Braces here to help us give you a deal, okay, That's right. on braces, because parents and grandparents know that <laughs> we're going to make a payment, and we have great ways to make that possible because you offer a free consultation. What does Celebrate Dental offer, and how are you different? So we offer braces and we do general dentistry. And what we offer that's different is, if you're like most people, they probably wonder, why does dentistry have to be so expensive, right? Well, yeah. You know what the answer is? It doesn't really need to be. Uh, we actually asked ourselves the same thing and, and, and decided it, we, our purpose is to make dentistry affordable for our patients. Well, if you're going to run a business, it would make sense if you give people the best price, you'll have more people show up and you'll absolutely. be able to stay in business. That's absolutely right. And, and the Google reviews speak for themselves to that same point because uh, we've had over 400 five-star Google reviews. Okay. Well, so. that's real people talking. About absolutely. You. And you're getting ready to open a fourth location. That's right. We're opening up a, so we have a location on Walsham Road, on Marbach Road, and Bandera, and we're opening up a new one on Commerce actually uh, in just a couple of weeks. So you have found the areas where people have teeth. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and you are helping those people. And we're helping those people. <laughs> Absolutely. And right. that's what it looks like when you roll up on a Celebrate Dental and Braces, uh, you know, office. There it is. Absolutely. And they're all over San Antonio. We're going to give you a deal here in, in just a second. So I don't want you to go anywhere. But we have some before and after pictures. And these are success stories. We talk about people that are happy with the work that you've done and people that you've helped. And obviously straightening out teeth and, and making sure people have a good feeling about their smile. Absolutely. It's really rewarding to help people get get people that confidence back that they lack if they have a smile that they're not entirely happy with. There we go. And we have a free consultation so you can come in and talk with the doctor and he'll answer any questions that you have and help help you decide if braces are right for you. Okay. Well it doesn't necessarily have to be braces. I mean you can do there are other options too, right? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So we do, you know, whatever dental work that you might need. Um, if you need a root canal or a anything, we, we do it all. And we see people of all ages, so from six months to 106, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, Fiona has asked if you can sew my mouth shut, and that is not a service that <laughs> they offer. No, they, they don't offer that service. Unfortunately not. Stop no. it, quit it. Uh, they do celebrate, though, which is something we love to do, and we, we have an incredible pricing opportunity for everybody that is watching. Yeah, we do. So. So we offer all our patients that free consultation I mentioned, and that comes with no down payment and no credit check for braces. And what we're doing special for today is the first 15 callers, we're actually gonna pay the, your first month of braces. Get it's, out of it. It's gonna be on us. Get out of it. That's time. right. Really? So our pricing is about 100, it starts at $120 a month for braces. And we're gonna, we're gonna cover that first month's payment for free for the first 15 people that call. Shut your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> only, because, only because you're a dentist on. All right. That's right. 210-451. Four of those. That's your mouth. Wide open, right? Zero, zero, oh, yeah. zero, zero. You got it. Oh, there it is. It's just <laughs> like when you go to the dentist. Oh, 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 open up. Uh, 210-451-0000. First 15 callers. The first month's payment on your braces. You got it. Dunzo Malenzo. It's on us. Paid. Thanks to thanks to Garrett and his crowd over there That's at, right. at Celebrate Braces and Dental. We would love for you to take advantage of that. Okay. For more information, all you got to do is look them up. All right. And That's you're right. everywhere all over the city. Thank you. You've made Thank this really so easy to understand. And I, I like the philosophy, too. 210 451. Just like you're going to the dentist. That's right. That's how it works. Zero, uh, zero, zero, zero. There you go. 210 451 000. All right. It's great when we get to give you all a deal, too. Coming up, we are celebrating Tim Duncan Day today. How are you paying it forward? Share your 21 for 21. Have questions? <laughs> I earlier and plugged in, we asked you to do 21 good things today in celebration of Tim Duncan Day with use the hashtag 21 for 21. Aww, our executive producer Katie Fellows showing off the high fives for Tim Duncan in the SA Live office. Yeah, with me and the last one, she mm -hmm. hit me in the face. That was crazy. <laughs> that was called a slam dunk. And, and then, uh, yeah, look at our 21 hugs for everybody all around the TV station all day today. Those are some of the people that make this show behind the scenes. And if and, you go to... Oh, you go, you, you found it? No, well, no, I don't know. Okay. Uh, and then on Facebook, Janice Herrera says... 
Uh, she's going to change her, she changed her profile and cover page to Tim Duncan for 21 days. She put his yeah, picture look. up, she's going to do that. And we're asking you for your 21 for 21. Look at, look at over there, there it is, right there. Look at, look at Fiona. Yeah, look at her. She's, uh, she's, she's even got the ball. There it is. Uh, <laughs> I try not to drop it. We're having a ball tomorrow. <laughs> gourmet hot dogs. Look who's here. <laughs> Chungos, the brothers, they make delicious gourmet hot dogs. And guess who's going to be playing? Oh, she's the only act opening for Garth Brooks this current tour. Country singer Karen Rochelle performs live. All right. We want to say thanks for being here today. Thanks, Tim. Yay, and we're giving you 21 you, for 21.